Yo, what's up? Welcome to the channel. I'm Tyrex. Today we're going to be playing Civilization Revolution on Deity, and this is going to be a little bit of a strategy run. So I'm going to kind of talk you guys through what I'm doing as far as our tech tree, um, you know, how we're going to build our civs, where we're going to build our city, setting up defensive perimeter, and then really basically just kind of the standard way I play most this game most of the time, it's going to follow this exact same path. The tech tree, the way I do everything I do with my cities, all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to kind of try to explain that, you know, in a little bit more detail than I have in the past in this video. And hopefully be able to help you guys out. And if you're having trouble getting, you know, wins on deity and stuff like that, hopefully, 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 uh, you know, this, uh, this video will help you out a little bit. But to do this video, I don't want to take in a sieve that has any real major advantage starting off. Uh, you know, it's just, I mean, I'm kind of looking at like either like maybe the Russians or the Spanish in this one, just because they don't have any real big thing starting off. I mean, I don't want to have the added bonus from, all right, we'll take in the Russians. I didn't want to have any added bonus from, you know, culture or science or anything like that. And the Russians do start off having access to uh, one plus food from plain squares, which is nice. But, you know, it's not like some major deal breaker that's going to, you know, set us apart in the game or something like that. So we're not really too worried about it. But luckily, we do have a barbarian village pretty close to us. Just going to kind of scan around another one over there. So, all right, first unit's going to go left. Second unit's going to go right. Um does look like we have a fair amount of real estate around us, which is probably going to mean that we're going to be getting attacked from different angles. So we're going to have to be pretty smart about how we play defense in this game. Uh, normally, I mean, you know, if you get pretty lucky with where your civ's at, you can kind of be on a peninsula with some area behind you that you can then use to settle. Or your back set, you know, on the back end of that peninsula, and then you can build your, you know, second or third city up in a choke point, and then kind of use that city to take on the aggro. That's usually the best thing to do if you can. But uh, we're going to get going on some warriors right now, so we're going to go to production right away. The nice thing about that barbarian village being close to us too is it shouldn't be able to switch to population two, so we should be able to take it out in one turn. They normally don't get their second population until 3500 BC. We did take two damage there, though, so that kind of sucks. <laughs> it just sucks to have to, like, go through those healing turns, but, you know, not the end of the world, considering we only had to fight them once. It does reveal another barbarian village over there, which is tempting to go to, but I'm also very curious as to what's over here. So, because we have this much room, I don't always do this. A lot of times, I'll save all my money until I get that first hundred. But because right now we know there's a barbarian village here and there's definitely, you know, area up here that we want to see. And then we also know that there's some area over here that we're going to want to see. Um, it's kind of in our best interest to maybe get out and start exploring. Um, this kind of comes to the mentality, too, of it being a zero-sum game. I mean, there's only an X number of resources out there. And if you don't get them, your competitor's going to. So have that in the back of your mind. But we just got to 3500 BC. Normally by now I would have two warriors. Right now we have three, which is totally cool. And uh, we're going to go ahead and swap our city to full-on food production. I'm going to send these guys up. Hmm, see this? That's a pretty nice spot to settle over there. And that's really what I want to see right now, is like, where can I settle at? Like, right here looks pretty good. Even right here could actually maybe be really good. This doesn't have the production right away I would like it to have, but it's going to have pretty good food. Stuff like that. So, that's just kind of where my head's at right now. I'm always, you know, in these early turns, it's where can we settle... Where can we set ourselves up? We're also looking for the boundary of other civilizations. We don't necessarily want to meet them. We just want to know where they are. And then we're going to play the avoidance game.
And right now it's just taking out barbarian villages, seeing what we can see. We're gonna heal them up. We're not really worried about healing them yet. I kind of want to explore, so we're gonna just send them over there, see what they can see. That kind of sucks. They jacked our barbarian village, and I guess we can be friends, but I'm not happy about it. We're gonna just sit right there. We're gonna let them heal. Bring these guys over here. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and take these guys out. Our capital just grew to population three. So we're gonna go to that and we're gonna set it to two food, one science. We want this guy to see what it can see. Wow, are they right there? Okay, so we're gonna go to our capital before we forget because I do do that and it sucks. So we're gonna go two science, one food just for a turn. Gonna heal up our unit just to get them back to full health. We're gonna get going on alphabet. Send our warriors up. We just want to see what they have for a wonder. Ooh, they have Colossus. That sucks. That's a huge advantage. Um, just the extra added science. And they got a really good spot, too. They have two desert squares right away, so they're getting extra <laughs> uh, science production and food from that. So, yeah, pretty gnarly over there. But we're going to come back to our sieve. We're going to go two food, one science now. And kind of step them up. We're going to go ahead and attack. We're going to leave them there just to kind of defend a little bit. I also want to explore with this unit. I really also don't want to give it to uh, the Egyptians, especially if they have Colossus. <clears throat> but we're okay. We're just going to keep trying to destroy some villages here, get our cash, get our second sieve built. And we'll figure out how we're going to handle this. Okay, the Americans are right there. I don't really need to turn that unit in yet because um, that 50 gold isn't going to put me over the 100 gold threshold I need to get my settlers. So I can just kind of use them as an exploration unit right now too. And be selective about who you give them to. Most civs are not your friends. No civ is your friend. Correction. <laughs> uh. Alright, if we can get some cash here, then we'll probably turn that into the Americans. Damn. Oh, we don't need to. Okay. So, we're at our 100 gold threshold. Oh, man, and the French are in this game, too? Okay, so some pretty heavy culture. Are they that close to each other, though? What? Wow. Washington and Paris are way close. That's just... That's insane. I don't even know what to do with that. <laughs> that's a trip. Okay. All right, game. Okay, we got some. we got some space over here, though. I think we're probably going to want to go like right here and then probably right here then down there somewhere but yeah we're going to go right here first this is all kind of dangerous territory because they're going to start pushing culture a little bit i mean right here actually wouldn't be a terrible spot just as like a blocker city but i don't really want to waste my first set of settlers with something like that
So we're going to send them right over here. This has plenty of food. Don't have alphabet yet. And normally I try to have my second city built by 2200 BC. Um, it just seems like after that you really kind of fall behind. I don't know who would name something that. I'm thinking maybe the Zulu, possibly? Which, if they're tucked all the way up there, that might not be a horrible thing. Oh, the Aztecs. Okay. Right, there we go. We're gonna heal them up just in case they flip. Kind of want to see what else they got going on around them. See, found a little village, we'll take it. We don't really have any major pressing need to spend our gold yet, so. It's also really nice that these sieves are all kind of up here together. Behind uh, Thebes. So they're basically going to have to go through Thebes to get to us. Or build naval units and bring them around, which they definitely will do. But I'm just saying it makes it a little harder for them to come at us, which is nice. It's a, you know, we'll, we'll take the bonus when we get it, because those things uh, are few and far between. All right, we're going to do that just for one turn. Oh, okay, I kind of messed up here, but that's okay. We're gonna, oh, actually, no, uh, that's okay. All right, it's fine. Everything's fine. Normally when I build my second city, I try to remember to set it to full-on population growth just to get it to turn as fast as you can. And this might be a forest. Boom. And again, we're just kind of trying to see what we can see. Maybe a plain square right there in the top left corner. Okay, so we're going to come here to our capital. I'm going to go ahead and build that library. Probably build another library there as soon as we can, or maybe just build our uh, next set of settlers. We got some pretty, pretty good area around us, so it might be good just to get them built. Okay, so we're just going to set this to the Oracle for now, or just some other wonder. We're going to wait until we get pottery, and then we're going to go for Hanging Gardens. Okay, there's four wonders in this game, so it might be smart of us to uh, build a ship. See, we just got pushed back because of their culture. And they're only getting that culture because they have the wonder, so... The Egyptians are a little bit broken, you know? Other civs, they'll get, you know, a culture bonus or, you know, maybe something else, but they get both because it's a wonder, so. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and call that the Jinx. Just my opinion. Call him how I see him. I'm not sorry. All right, we're just going to go ahead and give that to them. They're just the furthest away from us, so I kind of feel like they're, you know, the least threat. <laughs> I'm not saying they're not a threat, but you know what I mean. Um, And then we're going to wait on that, I think. I'm just going to kind of use these guys to look around. Same with them. Okay, we want to build right here. Definitely. Okay, so we're going to build here, and then we're going to build a ship. So we're not going to use that. Uh, normally I'd build another library in that city, but right now we're going to use it uh, to build settlers. So we just turned. 
I'm gonna go ahead and buy a set of settlers. And then I need 60 for a ship. So next turn, we're gonna build a ship here in this city. Okay, we're gonna go masonry next. I always go uh, writing, then pottery, and then masonry. If you get masonry first, you can get free walls, and it's just, it's really nice to have. <laughs> Man, they're pushing culture hard. Oof. They have a general too, so they might start getting real pissy with their aggro. We're gonna set our warriors up here to kind of give us a little bit more blockage. We want to come here. And just for a moment, we're going to swap this over to science and we're going to build our galley. And it should build our galley in that square where we had that uh, science at. And then we're just going to swap it back to food. And it did. There's some wonders out there. It's in our best interest to go out and try to find them. Uh, you know, zero sum game. If you don't get it, your competitor is going to. Excuse me. Had to take a drink. The problem right now is like there's so much island real estate. We didn't want to do that with them. Okay. Actually, going to bring them up. Set them in there. We're going to go ahead and drop these settlers here. This is a really nice city. This is probably going to be our gold city, actually. Uh, a ton of food. It's going to get that, too, actually. So maybe we're going to build our next sieve right here, maybe? We're building another sieve over there, for sure. All right. Go like that. We're going to build a library here in Yakutusikis. Whatever it is, as quickly as we can. <laughs> okay, looks like a really nice island. I'm gonna drop those guys too, just so they can reveal what's on the island for us. Yeah, right there is a great spot to settle. Right there, right where our guys are. Oh, okay. We need to remember to go back to that city uh, <laughs> and uh, get it going on food next turn. Both of these cities, actually. Also, I want to come to our capital and make sure it's going on Hanging Gardens. Okay. So now we want food. And food. Just to get them to turn into population three as fast as we can. We're gonna let those guys just settle there. Pick them up there. Didn't get writing first, no problem. We're probably not gonna get irrigation first either, just because the Egyptians get it for free. And that kind of sucks, just because it's nice to get that plus one population, but not the end of the world. See if this village reveals a wonder close, maybe, if we're lucky. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing we did in our capital. We're going to go two food, one science, and basically is what... Uh, is what I'm basing my uh, food production on right away is right now it's 2 and 14. So if I go to food and it drops to 7, it cuts directly in half, then I know I'm getting like the best bang for my muck, my buck out of my food because it cut it, you know, obviously directly in half. Um, and then we're just going to use the extra production for science and wait for this to turn and we're going to do the same thing there. Got a spy. Oh, that's nice. Well, because of that, actually, again, thinking kind of bang for our buck here. 
we want to maximize how many cities we can have utilize that. So we're going to come build our other sieve right there. All right. See, so on this city right now, if I have it only on one food, it's given me 13 turns. And if I go like this, it's seven. So I know that, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not getting the best because that's not cutting it down to six, which could be, you know, maybe sometimes possible-ish. So we're going to go like this just for a turn. Want to build up on that island. Slide down here, see what else we can see. And these cities don't have awesome production right away, but they have really good food. Um, and they're kind of back set a little bit too. With the other civs being set where they are, we don't have to worry as much about defense in this game. But now that I have all four of my cities built, and this city now is at, uh, as you can tell, it says 12 turns. So we're going to take one of our science, put it on food, and now it goes to six. So now it cuts it directly in half. We know we're getting uh, our food, uh, city production, growth, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> as fast as you can. Uh, and then now that we have all four of our cities too, this is kind of as early as we can get this. We're just going to get it. We don't want to risk one of the other civs coming by and scooping that up. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and go two food there as well. We want to get it to turn as fast as we can. We do have some nice places to settle, so that's kind of where we're going to focus at right now. Um, we think this city down here to the south can probably be our gold city. It just doesn't have a ton of production, so maybe it's not going to be the gold city. God, it's going to have a lot of food, though. <laughs> and that's nice, and it's going to get extra gold from that, and then it's going to have this as well. So that's really, really tempting. But right here is kind of tempting, too. It's just not as tempting because I feel like, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to... I don't know. Maybe. These are the questions I have. But we'll figure that out. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just settle him in our capital. I usually like to try to buff up my capital as much as I can. All right, probably going to want to settle over on that island as well. So we need to get Republic kind of as quick as we can. Yeah, we want to build right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're going to keep sliding around. We know there's three more wonders out there. One of them is most likely... Um... Damn, that kind of sucks. All right, we're going to go ceremonial burial. Whew. See, this city... <laughs> That's awesome. All right, we're going to get going on... Just get that going full science right now. See what we can see here. So at five, it's two turns. At three, it's three turns. So I don't really feel like I'm getting like the best bang for my buck right there. So I'm going to go like this just for a turn and then swap it and see if I can get it to turn in one turn. Ooh, there's Atlantis. That's nice. Okay, we like what this city's doing. We just want it to build a library. We're going to come back here now. See if we can get the city to swap next turn. Maybe not. Nope. Okay. But that's fine, because we didn't, like, really lose anything there, I don't think. Did we? I don't think so. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe we did. Maybe we lost a turn. I feel like we would have to, otherwise the math doesn't really, like, add up to me. But I suck at math anyway, so that's not totally reliable. <laughs> Uh, we might try to bribe them real quick with alphabet no see if we can bribe them with something else real quick 
What's up? What's up? What's up? What about pottery? Come on, man. Be cool. How about alphabet? No? Still no? Okay. Alright. Be illiterate, then. It's fine. <laughs> it's a choice. I'm almost wondering if it would be smart to start building up those island sieves. Just get them built. Because we're already behind in the tech game, so... I don't know how much some of this stuff is really going to do for us. As far as, like, construction and code of laws and all that stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Let's maybe let it ride for a second. I'm also curious what's right there. We're just kind of slow rolling it right now. Would have been nice to get a little bit more gold, but we're okay. Did get hanging gardens built, actually, which is kind of surprising to me. Um, we don't have a unit here in our city, so we're going to go ahead and build a unit. All right, that was a pretty nice boost for us. I always try to get Hanging Gardens built. Normally right now, I would immediately get going on Colossus if it wasn't already built. Hang in there, boys. It's you, easy dubs. Come on now. No! <sighs> See, that's annoying, because now I actually have to go, like, commit troops over to defend that. <laughs> Bumming me out, game. Bumming me out. Oh. Alright, Paris has a couple great people. Good for them. We're gonna stay right here. Just take our little defense bonus as we can have it. All these just dumb little islands over here. <laughs> it like just piques my curiosity and it sucks. All right, so that's building, library, library. Okay, we're okay. All right, we're gonna go code of laws next and then currency. I'm just going to do a big circle, I think. Normally, if there's something close, it'll, like, show it to you, so I don't know if there's one in here or not. Hold in there, boys. We need you. Nice. Nice. All right. That's nice. Got a builder. I'm gonna get going on some settlers there, some settlers there. Oh. I'm half tempted to actually settle him there. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to. Normally I would save this builder uh, for our gold city, which actually I am gonna do. So we're just gonna send him down there. Bring those guys up. Pay for these warriors as well. Hopefully take out this legion. Okay. Grab them. Slide up here. Drop her. Probably just going to sell her. Kind of use the gold right now. Yeah, saw that coming. Okay, so we're going to step back. Hmm, there's a wonder over there. Okay. All 
All right, so we're gonna go over see if we can snake that bad boy up. Okay, we can finally build defensive units, so that's nice. And we got loyalty, which is huge. All right. Really nice thing about the Russians is just getting that extra bonus from uh, having loyalty. And then we're going to send our boat over there. We don't want settlers there. We actually want a galley. The reason I want a galley is because that other ship's kind of going the opposite direction, so... Might as well build one over there so I can at least start putting my troops out. And we actually got Republic first, which is nice. That kind of shows us that we're starting to compete in the uh, tech game again. If we're stupid? No? Not stupid enough? Okay. We tried. We tried to warn them, you know? But they just wouldn't listen. Uh, I mean, we'll go infiltration. Neither one of those necessarily totally helped out, but that's all right. All right, I'm just gonna kind of let it do its thing, let it do its thing. All right, now the French are pissed. Nobody was surprised. Probably should have taken March, because then at least I could have, like, moved back to my point. <laughs> but that's okay. We're going to move them up there. Kind of want that library, man. All right, so we're going to step back. And right now, basically, we're just kind of trying to set up our defensive perimeter. And give ourselves some breathing room. So we're going to swap that. Okay, that's going to set us one short. Basically, I'm setting this uh, city to gold, so hopefully it'll build the free market here if we do get the free market. And then, just to get us there for this turn, we're going to go like that. Okay, so we didn't get it first, and that's okay. But at least we know. Um, we're going to go monarchy. Maybe get a free great person if we're really, really lucky. Can't build a galley yet, which kind of sucks. But we're going to do that as soon as we can. As soon as we can build that galley, we're going to. Then you are going to build me some archers. See if I can build kind of a blockade. <laughs> like, basically is what I'm thinking is, I'm going to try to set troops up here, here, and here, and keep everybody out. And that's just how we're going to do it. Got the Great Pyramid. Uh, I mean, it's cool if you get it earlier, because then you can just take Republic early, and then you don't have to, you know... Uh, destroy your city's population to build other settlers the way I did, but at the same time, right now it's not uh, not nearly as good, so that's okay. But we do get culture from it, so we'll take that. Say no to ironworking. They wanted currency. Move up here, get that next turn. I'm going to pay for this galley as soon as I can. And then we're going to build um, World Trade Fair in our gold city using that great builder. And that's standard too. I do that in pretty much every single game I play. 
So the nice thing about the Russians also is loyalty gives you plus defense inside your own territory. So since we're in our territory and we got that culture bonus from getting uh, that artifact, then we're going to get that defense bonus with our guys kind of being out like that. So that's really nice to have too. So we're going to go ahead and go set that to trade fair right now. We're going to come to our city. We're going to go great builder. We're going to have him complete production. And now we need to get a market built here. Actually, we need some defense first, and then we need a market. Load them up. We're actually going to take this Cossack army as well, just for exploration purposes. But we're going to go ahead and start settling these islands. We have at least three spots we want to get, and we really, really, really don't want anybody else to get them. See if that's a plain square. It is not. I want to buy that library, but I need to get some defensive units there first. Okay, so now we'll buy the library. I couldn't remember how much I needed. <laughs> and we're just going to go ahead and start building some more archers, get an army there. I'm sending them up just because they're closest to that, uh, well, not closest, but they're, you know, closer to that, to Memphis up there. And I just want to make sure that I got units where I need them. We're actually going to go right there. Actually, boom. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm going to cancel that. Hold up. Leave me alone. We're going to step them up. Then we're going to step them up. Okay, no, wait. I don't want to do that. Because uh, they can just attack me with, like, armies from there if they send people over there. And that's kind of inviting it. And I don't know if I really want to do that because then it's going to break my barricade faster. So I think we are actually going to step back one. And we'll go three wide over there. Yeah, because they have a road built there. And I don't want their troops to be able to just sit in their city and attack me. Alright, we're doing good, though. Hopefully we can get our free great person. Put him, put him up there. And we're just going to build up defense, man. Wow. They already have knights. That's a little bit of a problem. Hey, we did get monarchy first, though, so that's kind of badass. We are going to stick with, with Republic, though, because we want to build a couple more cities. We're going to go writing, literacy, and then probably democracy. Just got Thomas Beckett, who will add to our population growth, which is awesome because we definitely want to have him uh, So we're going to pay for some of these guys, and we're actually going to send them out and kind of try to get some armies here just in anticipation of hopefully not getting absolutely destroyed by those knights. Uh, we do want to settle this humanitarian, though, in our gold city. If he popped up somewhere else, we would have moved him over to our gold city, so that was actually some pretty nice luck for us. And we're actually going to take these guys and move them up, too, because that's kind of where the most immediate threat is right now. We're going to attack these guys. And we had a slight advantage. Hopefully we're able to take advantage of it. Well done, well done. Okay, and then we're going to move them up too. We're just going to go ahead and build that into an army. Okay, so we're going to go literacy next. And really, I'm going down this tree, not necessarily expecting to uh, get the, you know, free spy, which we would get from writing, or the uh, plus one to my science. We're going to go ahead and just settle him there. Um, like I'll, I could possibly get from literacy. 
So we got a defensive unit here now. We're going to go ahead and immediately get going on a market. Um, I'm doing it just to kind of open up that tech tree a little bit because then I want to get uh, engineering. Do want a defensive unit over here. We're going to go ahead and swap down to our defensive unit, turn them around, set them to defense. This is all just management right now. Okay, so they already have democracy, and we know that because they have pikemen. I'm just going to kind of reinforce that whole thing. I'm going to let them chill. Put this unit out, and we're going to settle them immediately. And then we're going to have them build a sieve. We're going to settle that sieve right there, and then we're going to build another sieve, and we're going to have them settle right there, and then we're probably going to build another sieve and have them settle right there. Something to that effect, anyway. That's the plan. Building all these guys just because I really want to make sure I get armies built over here. If they already have knights, that's just a lot of attack power. <laughs> So be kind of weary of that. Oh, I totally forgot about that ship over there. See? Sometimes my button sticks. We're not going to go for that yet. We're going to go math, engineering, invention, and then probably democracy. We want to try to get our settlers. All right, so there's one set. We're going to have them start building some archers. Also, I don't want democracy yet either because uh, pikemen are more expensive. They do add, obviously, have better defense, but still, it's a little rough. Okay, one more archer built here in the capital. Wow, they already have riflemen. Holy shit. <laughs> All right. So the tech game is going to be a little rough right now, but we just need to get, um, I think it's either engineering or invention, and we'll uh, wipe out uh, Colossus. They won't be able to use Colossus anymore, so that's all we need to do. Come up here. Same thing we did last time. We're going to drop our guys. We're going to go ahead and drop a unit, so then we can go ahead and settle them this turn. Swap off them real quick, come back. Just go. Cycle through them. Now you can found your city. Same thing here. We're going to immediately get going on settlers. We want to go ahead and settle right probably here, I'm thinking, maybe, actually, and then here. It's kind of sixes, but... Okay, that's fine. We're going to go engineering next. We're also going to slide these guys over. I'm just going to leave the Cossack there just so they have somebody to defend. I'm going to build up an army over there on the right. I'm just going to pay for that. None of that really does anything for us. We're going to get going on a courthouse. Okay, so my capital right now only has one unit in it, but I have an army here now defending. I have an army here defending, army, army, army. So in any way that somebody can attack me from land, I have a unit defending those choke points. I'm also staying close to my territory uh, for a reason. Just if I have to reinforce those points, they're a little bit uh, closer, and I feel a little bit safer about that. Okay, we got that now, and here we're just going to go ahead and get going on... What's a courthouse going to do for us? Not a lot. Not a lot. Yeah, all right, we'll let them build up an army there. This, we want it to go a library. Okay, well, we'll let them chill too. To hell with it. We'll splurge. All right. Next turn, if we can, we're going to pull these guys up just so we're in a little bit better position. Hopefully by these settlers next turn. We are starting to gain in tech, 
And that's largely because we're starting to settle these islands. So we're gonna get going on a library here as well. I usually only have one city as a gold city. I'm gonna have to go see what's up right there too. So we're gonna mosey over here. We're just gonna drop these guys this turn. We're gonna wait. Not really worried about paying for that yet. We're gonna send them up. Okay, just got engineering. Now we're gonna go invention. Again, I just don't want democracy yet because I wanna keep using Republic. And I don't wanna to have to take anarchy to uh, <laughs> swap it over, so we're good. All right, let them chill. Now we're gonna get going on a library here. So we're gonna unload our settlers. Found our city. Immediately set that to settler production. Pick up our ranger militia. Move up a square just to kind of get in a little bit better position. Hopefully we're able to pay for those settlers next turn. We're not really worried about them being mad at us because they're so far away. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and pay for those settlers, and then we're going to get going on an archer here. We just need to make sure that we have at least one defense unit in all of our cities, especially like the island cities. They don't always get, you know, major attacks, so sometimes you can kind of get away with just having one there. Or if, you know, your cities are closer to the front of attack like these two are, I like to have armies there, or at least armies close. Like I can build an army pretty quick in, quick in Moscow, that's why I'm not really too worried about them having one, but... A single unit here, a single unit here, that's fine. Particularly because it seems like they're focusing all their aggro on Moscow right now. So that's kind of, you know, how you can decide how to divide your troops or how many troops you need is just really who's taking the brunt of the attack. Should have unloaded my Ranger Militia last turn. I forgot. But that's okay, we'll just unload them this turn. Go like this, swap them like that. Settle them. And just out of curiosity, we're going to go peek over here. We might build another set of settlers for that spot. Maybe not. Oh, see, now they have a ship. So now we need to start kind of like worrying about what's going on with these other cities. We did get invention first. That gets rid of Colossus for them, which is huge for us. And we're going to get going on democracy now. So hopefully we're going to start really ramping it up. Let them chill. Okay. So we're not actually going to be worried about this city up here building a defensive unit. We're just going to leave that militia there. We're going to get that going on a library. I want that to have a market. We are probably going to have to get a army here just because the Americans have this galleon rolling around. Okay, we did get Christopher Columbus, and that's pretty awesome. So we're going to try to get him back into our gold city. Okay, got an army here now, so we're going to get going on our library again. It would actually be smart of me to probably pay for that market as soon as I can. And we're also going to use this unit now just to kind of get out and explore. We know where Atlantis is. We are going to go ahead and make that change. We're going to go Galleon next, and then we're going to go Steam Power. Might actually be smart of us to build a barracks. Yeah, we're gonna do it in the capital. I mean, we have enough production built up for it that we're just gonna, oh, hang on, maybe not. Hang on, if I can build it here, I'm gonna build it here. I can, okay. So we're gonna swap this back to a courthouse. I'm not gonna pay for that. I wanna pay for the market. I know I had enough last turn, but... And the reason I want to get the, uh... The barracks built is so hopefully if we get steam power first, then we'll get a free... 
cruiser that's upgraded. Okay, so right now is where things get a little bit weird and you can start kind of making some decisions on how you want to go about your path to victory. Um, right now, we actually don't have anything too enticing to be able to build as far as like regular buildings go. So I'm starting to look at wonders. East India Company, Shakespearean Theater, and Magna Carta would all be good. However, we also know that the other civs probably have higher attack power than us. We know that the Egyptians have... Uh, Riflemen, and they have knights, which are way better than our uh, archers. So we could possibly build that too and upgrade all of our units, but it's just kind of expensive. So I don't know if I really want to do that right now. I'm thinking maybe what could be in our best interest is to kind of put a little bit more pressure on the Egyptians by using culture. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of get going on building Magna Carta right now, and I might even swap that over to... Um, a university once we get there. Also, I should have built, like, paid for a unit there. We're going to go back and see if we can pay for them. Pikemen, we can. Okay, now we want to get this going on the library as soon as we can. These islands, basically, we just want them to have a defense, or a... Um, one defense unit, and then get them going on whatever they can use. Uh to start helping you out. So usually libraries for me, like I said, I usually only build the one gold city. Right now we're producing 72 gold just in this city alone. We're gonna get going on a courthouse because it can actually take advantage of it. We're gonna say no to the threats. Gonna let Holmes keep moving. Let him chill. And again with this ship, we're just kind of seeing what's up, seeing what we can see. I think there might be, like, one more land wonder out there. I'm not positive. Does anybody want to make peace? Just seeing. Just seeing. No, everybody's still pretty pissed. Yep, just pissed. Okay, that's fine. It's jealousy is what it is. And I don't blame them. We look good. Look good. All right, so we're just kind of moving around. Kind of seeing where the best place is to build libraries right now, too. It has pretty decent food. It's got the ink. I'm thinking maybe that's our spot. Yeah, right down here. We're going to pay for that one. And then... It can take, uh, make use of a courthouse, so we're going to get it going on courthouse. Uh, I would like to build this courthouse in our gold city as fast as I can, too, just so we can start taking advantage of some of the other resources we have. We did get steam power first, so we got... A free cruiser, which is awesome. Hopefully it built it inside, and it did. So now we're going to go use that to take out... Ooh, do we want our city? Is that on an island? It is on an island. I think we are going to take their city. Okay, it does not have a defense unit, so that's sick. So I guess we're going to have to pay for one. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. We're going to say no to the threats. Take out their galleon. I kind of just slide over here in anticipation of needing to give that uh, city some defense help. All right. Oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> I thought the game glitched out. I hit Y and he still had a movement turn, so anyway, um, brought up our city planner. But we're going to go ahead and settle here around our gold city. Love that. 117 gold now, just from one city. And, I mean, you can do that pretty reliably, so that's usually my biggest strat. Take him out. Oh, we lost. See, so that kind of sucks, because now we just literally lost a city that I just gave up a great person for. So I'm going to call that kind of cheesy, but whatever. And we're going to send these guys over here. All right. 
That's okay. So now we're going to go get Atlantis. Okay, so I can pay for this courthouse I'm going to. Uh, basically, this is all about getting this city's population growth to go as quick as we can. So now that we have that built, we're going to put it on a workshop. We might let it build that, but we're probably going to swap it to bank. We'll get access to bank next turn. We'll get that as a free tech from hitting 250 gold. And that's usually how I always discover banking. Okay, so we got Railroad first. That gave us uh, plus two production in all of our cities, I believe. The next thing we want to get going on is industrialization and then the corporation. 250 gold, so we got free banking. Got our library here now. We're going to have that lightly start building Leonardo's workshop, kind of in anticipation of future events. We're going to set this to bank. We're going to pay for that bank as soon as we can. We'll hit our next economic milestone next turn as well, which is 500. And that's going to give us a free great person. So stoked about that one. All right. We can take advantage of a courthouse here as well. So we're going to build a courthouse in that city. And we're just going to let these guys keep exploring. Get Atlantis next turn. Hopefully that'll give us a little bit of a boost. Hang in there, boys. Fight hard. Ouch. Okay, they took a lot more damage than I was anticipating. A lot more. Luckily, they're kind of dividing their troops, even though we just got wiped out. What? 21 to 12 and we just got wiped? Are you kidding me, game? Huh? What? What? All right, bro, whatever. Like, I literally don't even know what to do with that. So is what really sucks now is basically I have to commit all the production I have built up to defense units now. So basically is what happened right there is like the AI of the game kind of just screwed me. Just just to screw me. <laughs> like, that's how I'm chalking that one up. Um, and that happens. It'll do that. So, be prepared. Lube up. Lube up! Alright, coming over here to Moscow. Oh, that is so irritating. Alright, well... Move them up. Make them armies. Move them out. Try to reestablish our perimeter if we can. But yeah, not not stoked on that. That's okay. We're going to get going on a university. Try to build that as fast as we can. I think we're going to go for a tech victory because they are kind of usually like the hardest ones to get. All right. And they have flight now. Sick. Okay, so we got Eli Whitney. Plus one population to each of our cities. You know what? We're actually going to go ahead and use his ability and do that. We have uh, one in our capital. We have one in our gold city. All of our other cities actually have a fair amount of production. So we're going to stack those units. Sending that galley around. Probably going to end up selling that pretty soon, actually. Okay, we can pay for our bank, so we're going to, and then we want a harbor. Oh, whoops. Okay, so we're going to go corporation next. Set those guys to defend. Probably move these guys over and get them defending over there as well. Just curious to what's right here. Nothing. Okay. So then we're going to slide down here just to see if there's anything left. Yeah, you can... <laughs> All right. 
Not a great navigator here, bud. Not a great navigator. Taking them right into the right into shore. All right, we're just gonna cancel that. We actually need to pick up a unit anyway, so we can you know explore if we need to. All right, so we just hit a thousand gold. That gave us granaries in all of our cities. Just gonna sell that unit. Take this unit. Bring it over here. Okay, now we're gonna take these archers and bring them over here. Because they're kind of like the weakest unit, so at least they're doubled up, and then we have riflemen in both of these units. Or in both of those squares. Um Alright, so we're gonna pay for university, we're going to, and then we want to build a harbor here as well. Kind of a weak point. Hopefully they're able to hold up better than their uh, predecessors. They were not. Wow. Alrighty. Okay. That's just how it goes, man. It's how it goes. I don't know why I act surprised. <laughs> it shouldn't be. Alright, got our library here. Same thing. We're going to get going on courthouse immediately. Just because it can take advantage of it. And once that can't, maybe we'll build like a harbor or something like that. Right here, what can we build? Knights. We're just going to pay for them. They move too, so nice to have. Going to get going on courthouse again. I can't remember if there's one more land wonder out here or not. So I just want to have somebody on in case we come across something. You know what? We're gonna swap this city to Magna Carta. Just because. Play the culture game a little bit. The Aztecs are kind of pushing tech and culture, so maybe we can kind of get into their plans a little bit. We got Corporation first, so they gave us plus five gold in each of our cities. The next thing we're gonna do is printing press, and then we're gonna go mass production, and then probably steel or communism. We want to get communism because it'll give us, uh, we can build factories for a lot cheaper and it's just really nice to have. We can get going on a university there. We're not worried about the threats. And we want printing press just because that'll give us a little bit bonus to a uh, culture. So here, I mean, you know, the city doesn't really get any other bonus. We're just going to build a temple here. Let it boost our culture a little bit. Help us get toward great people a little sooner. I'm just going to kind of peek up here just to see what they got going on. Be a little bit nosy about their area. Okay, so we hit 2,000 population or 2,000 gold, so that gave us plus one population in each of our cities. We're gonna come now to our capital. We're gonna build our harbor, and it's not gonna get a lot out of an iron mine, but it's really the only production it's gonna get. So we're gonna build it anyway. Not something I would normally love to do. We're also gonna come down here to our gold city and build that harbor. And then we're going to have this one build a uh, workshop just because it has two hills. It only has the one mountain, so might as well. I think we'll get, you know, a little bit more bang for our buck there. But that has 30 fo food production, so it's blowing up there. Uh, 630 gold, 735 a turn with the added bonuses we have from getting some techs early. So starting to do pretty well there. Kind of starting to turn the corner a little bit finally. We didn't get that first, and that's okay. But we're, mass media now is only three turns. And that's kind of what we're doing. We're trying to kind of open up that other tech a little bit. And there was one more unit left. This will probably give us a tank. Love that. Load them up. Wait here so we can pick up our guy. And we're going to go give ourselves a nice defensive position right here between all of the, uh, under all of our guys, I think. Just 
kind of curious what's over there. So we're going to go set up right here, and that's going to give us naval support to all of these units, which means they're probably then going to start sending attack over to here. So we might have to reinforce that a little bit. Um, we're going to let our gold go until we hit 5,000 gold so we can get aqueducts in all of our cities. And that just helps our city's uh, population growth rate increases so we can, you know, get our cities to grow faster, which will just help us boom a little bit more. And starting to get early game, that's what we want, not just for the added tech and resources like that, but also for when we come to start building uh, our spaceship, having that extra production in those cities being built up really helps out a lot. Also, the extra gold built up is huge too. <laughs> Okay, so we got that. I mean, see, we're doing pretty well in tech right now. We're going to go ahead and go with communism and then steel. Come up here, just drop our guys. Let them defend. I mean, I think we can pay for this workshop and that iron mine and still hit our 5,000 economic milestone. So we're going to do that. We're going to get this going on a factory in anticipation of getting that bonus. From the uh, tech discovery here. I mean. We don't really want it building an iron mine. <laughs> um, we'll have it just start building a cathedral. Because if we build an iron mine. Then it's going to kind of start. Uh, having the city focus on. Production a little bit more. And you know we'd really like it to really just focus on gold. A little bit of production and a lot of food. Okay, so we got hit 5,000. That gave us our aqueducts in all of our cities. The next economic milestone is at 10,000, and that'll give us a free great person. So we might kind of hang in the pocket and see if we can pick that up. But this one looked pretty rough early, but, you know, just kind of setting up that defensive perimeter was huge for us the way we did with these cities here. We had pretty good real estate behind us uh, as far as being able to build these cities and them all have an access to, uh, you know, either good food resources or at least some good science resources. And then we really turned the corner, though, when we built these islands, right? When we started building up these four island sieves, that's when our uh, tech turned around. That's when we really kind of started, you know, essentially, I would say, taking over a little bit. But it could have went the other way. Um, I mean, the Egyptians, they could have attacked us a little bit harder with their units earlier and probably broke through and caused some real problems and at least, you know, would have forced me to build up my capital and then defend it and probably build some attack units and stuff like that. But our defense units have not performed well at all in this game. So that's kind of another thing, too, to look out for is it does seem like you usually take a few more L's that you shouldn't... Um, in deity, but that's just kind of nature of the beast, so. All right, so we got uh, communism first. That gave us, uh, now we can build factories for 33% cheaper. And now we're going to get going on steel. And this is all about defense and then also kind of opening up that tech tree a little bit. We want to go for electronics and then advanced flight after this. So we're going to get going on some universities. This, we might actually swap over to Leonardo's workshop and just get it built up. We're actually going to move our tank unit over so it can get the uh, added attack bonus from that great general over there. And then we're just going to go ahead and attack these units. Again, we lost, you know, two to one advantage, but we lose, so. Deity runs, they're tough. <laughs> They'll make you want to pull your hair out a little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> we still love the game, and that's why we play it. Um, gonna get going on a harbor here just because, again, a courthouse isn't gonna do a lot for us. I'm not really too interested in paying for any of those things right now either. Just because I do want to hit that next, uh, economic milestone. See what great person we get. And then, uh, and then we'll really start focusing on building things up. Alright, well there goes Leonardo's workshop, so we can't do that anyway. And at least they got it instead of one of the civs that's attacking us right now, and we now just got our battleship, so boom. All right, so now we're going to go electronics. And I'm going to go into our tech uh, 
our research kind of tree here and just kind of show you what we have available. So right now, the way we've kind of gone about things is because other civilizations are doing so well in technology, but we're also doing really well in technology, we're able to kind of go for like these later techs and then like the earlier stuff, you know what I mean? We'll just kind of pick that up because it's just becomes, I guess, like common knowledge, I guess, in the game, if you will. So right now, if we want to get a technology victory, we get to this point and we need electronics, advanced flight, and sometimes it'll make you get uh, atomic theory, I believe is the other one. But usually a lot of times if your technology is high enough, like if you're, you know, just your civs total tech is high enough, then it'll normally unlock space flight if you get uh, advanced flight and electronics. So that's kind of what we're going to do right now and hopefully be able to pull out that tech victory, which is going to feel pretty vindicating in this map considering the way the Egyptians started. And I'm okay with that building that as well. Like I said, I kind of wanted to push culture a little bit more. We're going to set up a little bit, see if anybody wants to make peace. How much do they want? What? They want 4,600 gold? No. They wanted like half my gold. You want 3,000? No, I'm not giving anybody anything gold-wise. You can have printing press. How's that? No? Come on, you chump. How about religion? There you go. Yeah, drink it up. Drink it in. Drink it in. What a loser. See, right now, having some riflemen, nice uh, naval units... We have those choke points. They've built up their fortifications. We should be pretty good for defense right now. Still a little disappointed in how our defensive units are performing. We should not be taking, like, really much damage at all, but that's okay. Okay, so we just got Wilbur Wright. And we're just going to settle him here in our capital. All of our cities are producing a little bit of gold right now, so we'll just let him help us out that way. Okay, so we're going to pay for this university. Pay for this courthouse. Going to get going on a university here as well. We're going to pay for this university, and then we want a harbor here. Not going to pay for that harbor. We are going to pay for that courthouse. Get that going on a university. Cathedral. Okay. So these only have like 45 science, which isn't enough to really make me want to pay for a university for them. But I'm going to anyway. So, there we go. Alright, harbor. We're going to come down here. We're going to swap this to university. Just pay for it. Swap it to uh, courthouse just because. Yeah. And then we're going to build our factory. I'm going to build a barracks here. Start building up some more defense units just to really solidify ourselves. Make sure nobody breaks through in this final push. Alexander Graham Bell. So here's what... Okay. Mm, interesting. 114, 114. I'm looking at science, just seeing which city has the best. Or do we just hold him? Okay. So we're going to hang on to him. And as soon as we get unlocked spaceflight, we're just going to use him to complete it. So we're going to pay for that barracks. And then build some riflemen here. Yeah, we're just going to let him chill. If y'all like the video, leave a like. I really would appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And, uh, yeah, man. Cranking out some Civ Rev content. Start getting some other stuff out eventually. I've been talking about it for a while, so, you know, at some point that'll start happening too. <laughs> we could go networking right now and get universities for a little bit cheaper, but because we already built a lot of universities, we're not worried about it. We're just going to go advanced flight. So here we want a harbor. We're going to pay for that. And then we're just going to have that start building a factory. Here we're going to pay for this harbor. Same thing, factory. 
Not worried about building the cathedral. We're going to pay for the university harbor here. This already has a university, so we're going to build that harbor. And then this is going to get going on a factory. This is going to build the courthouse. Then it's going to build a harbor. Build our university here and then a harbor. We're focused on population growth. Um, and technology right now. So it was five turns for advanced flight, and now it's going to be four because of everything we just did that turn. And because of that, that'll kind of help us skip tech a little bit too. So we're going to build an iron mine here, and then a factory, just in anticipation of building our... Uh, space modules, whatever we want to call them. So we're going to let this build one more army, just so we can have an army there in the capital. I mean, a two-to-one advantage, so we shouldn't be getting totally, like, wrecked, but we are. We got wiped out with a two-to-one advantage again. Like, I mean, jeez, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> But that's exactly what I'm talking about, so you've ever wondered is not an embellishment all right we're gonna move them up there Let them defend there have these guys hopefully defend here and then we're just gonna set this on building Hollywood and we're just gonna swap that over to uh, a space module as soon as we get it, or a space, you know, whatever thing, whenever we get it. But hopefully we can position these riflemen where we want them. So we're going to say no. Generosity, he's probably having some trouble dealing with other things right now. So we got these riflemen in position. We're going to go ahead and put them there, set them to defend. Take our riflemen that can move now and move them over. And then we'll set them to defend right there. And right now, we're basically just letting all of our cities build. Yeah, see? We opened up space flight, just like that. And uh, we're just going to use all that production to build these modules. So now that we have space flight unlocked, we're going to come here, use Alexander Graham Bell to complete the study of space flight. The whole world is now revealed. And we're going to build our ship. Build habitation, we're gonna pay for it. We're gonna go propulsion, pay for it. We need life support, we're gonna pay for it. This city has quite a bit of production, so we're actually gonna build another propulsion unit there. Same here. We want four propulsion units, one habitation, one life support, and one fuel. And that's the fastest way to get your ship there. So right now we have three propulsion, one life support. Okay, so we need a fuel and another propulsion. So here we're going to go fuel. And then here we're going to go propulsion. Okay. And that's everything for our cities. These ones we're going to set to just full on science. Actually, we're going to do that with all of our cities right now because we don't need them to produce anything else for us right now. We haven't we're going to be making enough gold that we can uh, just pay for naval units and troops to kind of defend ourselves a little bit or whatever else we might want to build in our cities until they kind of get everything completed. Like right now, I'm going to pay for that harbor literally just to humor myself. All right. So next turn, we're going to be able to launch our spaceship. And then three turns after that, game's over. Right now, we're not worried about any of this. We're going to go mass production. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and spam B, get through this. Habitation, there's a propulsion. Another propulsion coming in. Just spam and B, just spam and B. All right, there's our fuel pod. We have two more things launching. There's our life support, one more propulsion. It'll get you there an extra turn. So basically, every propulsion unit there uh, you add will get an extra turn. But if you start adding...
the other habitation unit and the life support unit and the other fuel units, then that's actually going to weigh your spaceship down. And I think it'll actually uh, take it longer to get there. If I remember correctly, I did a little bit of uh, testing on it before. I can't remember exactly how it worked out, but I do remember that this is the fastest combination to get the uh, spaceship to Alpha Centauri and get your science victory completed. And this is why we have all of our uh, cities set to science, because I don't need to go here and build stuff now. We just need to flip three turns and game's over. I mean, normally if they were, like, attacking me with a bunch of stuff right now, I would just be, you know, like, paying to build units or uh, naval units, stuff like that in my cities to kind of help defend. But we're not worried about any of that stuff right now. So we'll even use him just to add the 400 gold to our treasure, just to, you know, use him. Again, not helping us really at all, but we'll take it. I hope I kind of explained things pretty well in this video. I know I kind of talk pretty fast sometimes and stuff like that, but I mean, really, if you just kind of watch, you know, like my videos uh, a couple times through and, you know, different ones, like you'll notice, man, I follow like the same tech tree. I'll follow like very very similar path as far as like building my cities building a gold city how i approach that and like all of those sorts of things so if you're ever kind of wondering strategy um you know that's a that's kind of a good way to figure things out but i'll definitely be building a more in-depth strategy guide that's very like more pointed and direct and you know kind of stuff like that in the future but uh yeah that'll that'll take a pc and we're not quite there yet so anyway but anyway that is a tech dub with the Russians, kind of a sieve that doesn't have any, you know, real major advantage. They have a couple things that are pretty good and help them out, but uh, uh, hopefully this is a pretty good kind of, you know, starter guide for, uh, you know, how to get a tech victory or really any type of victory. I mean, we could have competed. I mean, we easily could have got an economic victory in this. Um, a domination victory probably would have been pretty tough just because the Aztecs actually built Leonardo's workshop in my... Uh, strategy with dom victories is normally you know i kind of just build up a bunch of lower level troops get my tech up until i get artillery and then i build leonardo's workshop turn all my units into that and then i just dominate that way but uh we could have got economic we maybe could have competed in culture just with the french and again the aztecs seemed like they were building a bunch of stuff uh the americans start off with some culture bonus and then you know so did the egyptians as well so that one might have been kind of tough in this game but Normally, following this strategy, you can kind of get any type of victory you want. But uh, yeah, I hope this was a good one. I hope you all liked the video. If you did, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate it. But most of all, just thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you guys for watching all the videos you do. Uh, I, it really does mean a lot to me, man. I, I appreciate it. I really, really do. So thank you guys. We'll see you in the next one.